Dr. Siju Iluyomade, the founder and convener of Arise Woman, the wife of Pastor Idowu Iluyomade, who is the Assistant General Overseer in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and also the lead pastor in charge of one of the biggest RCCG branches in Nigeria, which is RCCG City of David Parish. Siju has been trending across the internet after she recently celebrated her 60th birthday in grand style. There has been several reactions and opinions from people on her lifestyle. Siju Iluyomade is also a lawyer. She was called to bar in 1985. She runs a law firm called Iluyomade and Iluyomade and Co. She has been in active legal practice and has been in several courts in Nigeria, including the Supreme Court of Nigeria. She is also a member of the Nigeria Bar Association as well as the International Bar Association. Siju is also a minister, being the wife of one of the top pastors in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Her husband is the Assistant General Overseer for CSRO and also the lead pastor of, of one of the biggest RCCG branches in Lagos, which is the city of David Parish. Despite her position as a pastor's wife, Siju has a unique personality and lifestyle, quite different from the typical lifestyle of the redeemed members. Siju is a super stylish woman who believes that faith should not be hidden under boring and dull clothing. What makes her sense of style controversial is her position as a pastor's wife, most especially in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. RCCG is one of the ministries in Nigeria that has very strict dressing rules, especially for their workers and ministers. Some of their dressing rules include no mini skirts, no mini gowns, which means that all ladies must wear dresses or skirts below their knees. No sleeveless, no artificial or colored hair, very minimal jewelries, very light and simple makeup, and most especially, women who worship in RCCG are not permitted to wear trousers as there is a belief that trousers are meant for only men and not women. However, it's important to note that these rules are strictly implemented on only workers and ministers. Despite these dressing rules by the RCCG, Siju Iluyomade has been seen severally following her own standards freely and unapologetically. RCCG pastors' wives are known to be very modest and reserved with their dressing. They are mostly seen in long skirts, long gowns, suits, covered hair, no makeup or very little makeup, no jewelry or very little jewelry, and are never seen in the public wearing trousers. Despite that, Siju has over the years maintained her over-the-top fashion sense and love for luxury and expensive fashion items, shunning the general standards expected of a pastor's wife. She travels the world and buys expensive luxury items, including limited editions from high bro stores. When she attends events, she turns up as one of the most stylish women. From head to toe, she oozes of class and luxury. Her makeup, jewelries, fascinators, wigs, shoes and bags get people talking and staring and the photographers scampering to get pictures of her. She wears colored hair. She has been seen several times in public wearing trousers. She goes all out with her jewelries and makeup and she does all this freely and unapologetically. Recently, on Sunday 18th of February 2024, Siju Iluyomade celebrated her 60th birthday in grand style. And once again, social media went abuzz with reactions of the luxury lavished at the celebration. The star-studded party was held at Eco Hotel in Victoria Island, Lagos.
The celebrant Siju stood in a colorful floral dress, well beaded face, eagerly to match luxurious jewelries and her signature smile, of course. Some of the side attractions include musical performance from popular Nigerian musicians like Yinka Alashi Yori, Lilian Neji, Pastor Kunle Ajayi, Minister Bukola Bekes, Flavor Nabania, amongst others. What stemmed the controversy was the performance of Flavor being a secular artist. Some people were of the opinion that it was not appropriate for a pastor's wife to have him in a party. There were emphasis on his song titled Bola, which he sang and the celebrant was seen vibing and enjoying the performance. Hey, hey, hey. at the events were these robot-like mascots that went round to entertain the guests and create some sort of excitement. While a lot of people believe that being a pastor's wife should not stop her from enjoying herself and living a happy life, there are also some people who think that her lavish and carefree lifestyle is not suitable for that of a pastor's wife. It is important to note that her husband, Pastor Idowu Iluyomade, is known to always support his wife, not paying attention to public opinions. He calls her pretty young thing. During the birthday celebration, he gave a sweet speech in appreciation of his wife. Let's take a listen. A 16-year-old PYT. Pretty young thing. 44 years ago, you are still my pretty young thing. Is it our 10 years of courtship, the dreams and life we build together? Is it our 34 years of marriage and the lovely children that God has given us, Jola? Todu and Toju, to whom you are the best, most caring, lovely mother, adorable. You brought discipline into our home, and indeed you turned our house into a home. In appreciation to family and friends, the celebrant Siju Iluyomade wrote, Grateful beyond words for the incredible journey of my Diamond Jubilee celebration. It was a time filled with laughter, joy, and cherished moments made possible by the unwavering support of my dear friends and family. Thank you for turning this milestone into a truly unforgettable occasion. Here's to the love and memories that will forever shine bright in my heart. Diamonds are forever.
do let us know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section this broadcast was brought to you by becky culture media where we talk about trending news and events if you found the video helpful then click on the like button and share with a friend if you're new to the channel you're most definitely welcome you can join the family by subscribing to the channel and also click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever there's a new upload here i'll be so happy to have you as part of the becky culture family to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in my next one bye for now mm -hmm.